All right, so in this particular recording, I'm going to show you how to add a sound clip to a SmartBoard file. Um, I'm in SmartBoard right now, and one of the first things you have to realize is that you need an object to attach sound to. Um, I just pulled this out of the gallery of images in Smart, and there were a bunch of musical instruments, so I just pulled this over. Okay, um, and like with all objects that you want to edit in Smart, you're going to click on the object. You'll see a pull-down menu or an arrow and an option for sound. When you click on sound, you're taken to a menu that asks you, you know, to choose a file. So I'm going to click choose a file, and this is where I'm going to look for my sound file. Um, I don't have a symbol sound file on my computer, so I'm just going to pick something from my iTunes as an example. Okay, and then it's going to say, do you want to attach the sound? It also asks me first where I want to attach the sound. So I'm going to actually click on the entire object and then click attach sound. Okay, so um, like I said, that's really important that you select where you want the sound um, to show up because if you, if you don't select this, it's really hard to go back and change it. Um, now you'll notice that I have, when I click over the symbols, you'll see what looks like a hand. And if I click it, it starts to play the music. Hopefully. Well, let's go back. I'm sure it works. So if I click on the symbols, music starts to play. If I click again, the music stops. And this is how you add a sound clip to a smartboard file.